Hey y'all, this is Asha Cerise. Welcome back to my channel and join me on my first trip to Brazil. We are on time for my flight. I'm way ahead of time, but Mama has a show to get to. So I'm coming here to the early. Get my stuff together. We're coming in together. Just in case this big daddy is too heavy. We have another bag I can put some stuff in and I have a backpack. Oh shit. <laughs> and where are you going? Rio de, Rio de Janeiro. So, seven, Rio. Enjoy yourself, sweetie. You deserve it. Don't you worry about that toe. I just felt so my toes. And not my freaking power toes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me repeat, that was some of the best sushi I've had in a while. That was at the Panama airport and I'm glad I ate it because on this flight, as I was watching the color purple musical and they start passing out food, there were supposed to be vegan options for me on this flight, but it was beef or chicken. This is what they came up with for me. Some fruit, some type of salad I couldn't eat because it had mayo in it and another salad that had cheese in it. So I'm so glad I had that sushi and look at the bathroom to body ratio. I just wanted y'all to see the struggle of a woman who is five, nine and a half in a plain bathroom. This is what it looks like to select a movie or a book on the plane. I fell asleep watching House Party and look at this view coming into Rio. The flight from Atlanta to Panama was about four hours and some change. And then from Panama to Rio was a little bit over seven hours. I got my official first stamp in my new passport that I just got because my old one expired about four years ago. Don't tell nobody. But yeah, here's the view from the highway. It was a gloomy, rainy day in Rio. I was quickly introduced to the driving style of the people in Brazil. And let's just say I was hanging on to my seatbelt. I made it to the Airbnb where I met my homeboy Zoe, and this was the view of Copacabana Beach from the window. Zoe has been in and out of Brazil for a little over a year now, and he invited me to come down and check it out. He's been telling me about it for years. I've known Zoe since I was 16 years old. He was actually my ex-husband's best friend. We've always been cool, and I really appreciate him for inviting me to experience this great culture. We went and grabbed some lunch at this restaurant right here. You see the name. Again, it was a very cloudy, gloomy day, but it was still beautiful. This is what I ordered. I had a salad. This, the clumps are black quinoa. <laughs> I had some mushroom, jello rice, and yucca fries. That's what he ordered. There's me down in the bathroom getting some selfie time in. I got all my lost treasures found. And let me show y'all how we had to enter the Airbnb. Ain't nobody just getting up in here. I'm just out here walking, walking in Rio. Trying to find a nail salon. <laughs> I'm really outside. It was Sunday and all the salons were closed, so I ended up just grabbing some nail polish from the store and coming back and getting ready for the night. 
So got me in the hood, he said. I think I'm overdressed. These are the famous steps from the beautiful video with Snoop and Pharrell and at the top of them is a huge favela. We walked down this strip, I can't remember the name of it for a little while and I got to see a lot of the culture and hear some of the music. <laughs> We ended up going to this sports bar, which was right in the same Copacabana neighborhood that we're staying in. I'm not really a sports person, but I did pay attention to this game because my little cousin plays for the Jets, number 96, Leonard Taylor III. This bar kind of catered to American people. They had American music playing and a lot of American tourists were in there. And when I tell you every time number 96 was on the screen, I was not recording, so I didn't catch him in this video. But the food was decent, beans, vegetables, rice. You know, Brazil is not really known for the vegan foods, y'all. They know for the meats. And my homeboy ended up giving him some McDonald's at the end of the night. And that concludes day one. Stay tuned for day two.